Hi everybody, I'm back again today with another Brother Scan and Cut video. I am wanting to just briefly explain to you what this video is going to be about, what my plan is with Brother Scan and Cut, and just let you know what's going on. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe button because I have already probably five videos on Brother Scan and Cut and I'm going to continue to make these. Today we're going to talk about the offline version of Canvas Workspace. So we're going to go through how you download it, um, how it compares to the online version in a brief sense, but I just wanted to take you through that brief, quick way to get it done because it took me a while to figure it out and it took me some time searching and I really didn't find any videos that covered it. And I, with tech, I love to have a step-by-step -step video. So that's what I'm doing for you guys and I hope you enjoy it. Um, I will come out with a new Brother Scan and Cut video. My goal is at least once a month. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I wanted to also briefly mention that I am a card maker. So reasons that I love the offline version of this are the fonts. So I have tons of fonts saved on my computer that I use for all kinds of things. And I used to use with my Cricut a lot and I wanted to be able to use these. And when I was doing the online version of Canvas, you couldn't get the fonts into that program. And so I started looking at other options and realized I really needed to download the offline version. So I'm gonna take you through the process of downloading it and I'm gonna show you briefly the difference in the fonts so that you will know. And then I also wanted to mention briefly, I am a card maker. So I am part of, in two days, the card Maker Success Summit. This is a free event with tons of classes. There's like 25 people doing classes. Um, and you can do that free for that 24 hours, or you can buy a pass and buy those classes and have access to them at any time. The goal of this summit is to get your card making done for the year. So we're going to go through all the different um, holidays and occasions you need cards for and give you some ideas. So I hope that y'all will join me there. I will also link that in the description below. Let's get right into this video. So I was having trouble figuring out where you even did this. So I went to the help center on the brother site and I found this page, which says, how do I install it on the computer? And it's got a link right here. I'm going to include that link in the description so that you will see it. But when you go through it, it has you pick your model. So you pick your model of your machine, click that and then it's gonna talk to you about what you're running. So I do have a Mac and I've got the newest version on here. So I'm gonna hit okay, because Mac OS 12 is the newest one. All you Windows users notice that step one, you could have picked Windows and selected your version there. So just know that it's not just for Mac. Once I hit that OK button, I'm going to get, of course, an agreement to make sure that I'm um, doing everything correctly. So I'm going to scroll through this. You can read it if you would like. And then you're going to have to agree to this term and download. I did a quick look of the terms, but you feel free to double check all of those. So I'm going to hit download. On a Mac, it always asks, are you sure you want to trust this website? So I'm going to trust the website and it's gonna to head to my download folder. So that's gonna take a couple of minutes. And you'll notice that it shows you kind of a preview of what this is gonna look like in the bottom part. So I'm going to my download folder. I know that's kind of cut off on the top of the screen and I'm gonna click on Install Brother Canvas Workspace. Most of the time when you're downloading a program, you have to do this and you have to click Install. So it will start working shows you how much space it's going to take up on your computer if you have limited storage. Whenever I hit install something, my computer always asks me for a password. Yours may not do this, but I have a password that just um, allows me to install the software because I have teenagers and don't want them installing things on my computer. So it says it's a success. Yay! So I'm going to hit close. And then I'm gonna show you where we find it. So do you want to move the installer to the trash? Yes, the installer is just the program that helps get it on your computer. It is okay to move this to the trash and save a little bit of space. If you're worried about it, you can hit keep, but I did move it to the trash. 
So I want to show you what's on this Canvas Workspace page that's still up just in case you want to read any more of this information. You can scroll down this page and um, get just a little bit more basic information, all of which we are going to go over. But um, you've got this option if you didn't start downloading to re-download it and then just how to install it in case you got confused. It does go over all of this detail and then it talks about you're going to need a login ID. This login ID, if you've already registered your machine and have a Canvas Workspace online, this is the same password. So you've got that that you can use and then of course it gives you a little survey to see how easy it was. So if you don't have a login ID, I've got a video that I'm going to pop up in the top corner that will take you through that process, but you can create an account from the page that we log in on. So here's what it looks like on your screen. It's got this, um, I don't know what I would call that, a little flower or whatever design, but that's what you're looking for. Now to put it on your screen, I did go to my folder that says applications and I moved it from the applications folder onto my screen. So you can also just, if you don't want to have it on the screen permanently, some people like to keep their screen really clean, um, you can go to the applications folder and start it from there. Once you click into it, this is what shows up. So it's going to talk to you about if you need to download any updates. And you've got two windows here that are small. The first window are Canvas projects and patterns. I just click out of this. I mean, if you want to look at those later, you can. But then you get to your main page, which is your mat. And so this is the offline version. It does look slightly different than the other one. I'm going to show you what these tabs are. We've got shapes. We have text. We have this SVG that you can import tracing your images, some lines and freehand lines that you can do. Um, so just slightly different. All of those I believe are on the regular version, but what I really want to talk to you about are the text and fonts. So when you go to fonts, these are all the fonts that are listed on my computer. So I have so many options and on that other version, I'm going to show you that you have maybe, maybe I have 10 on the other version, but I love this about Canvas offline. And this works slightly different than the other one. Um, I wanted to show you that when you pick the other text on the online version, I'm going to show you how you do that. But right here, I can just type whatever I want to. And I've already picked the Samantha font, which is a really fun, scripty font. And then I can go back, highlight it again, and change that font to something else just any way you want to do it. So this would really be fun for sentiments. It's really fun if you're cutting out vinyl. Um, lots of fun things you can do with fonts here, and I definitely recommend downloading this for this reason specifically. Now I'm going to jump over to Canvas Workspace Online. So this is the different version that you can go right to the site, and I'm going to show you the difference in this and what we just downloaded. We're going to look at the online version and anytime I need to go to the online version, I just Google Canvas Workspace for Brother and this comes up first. Usually I get this, I probably need to download some type of update or something like that, but um, I'm just going to close this out and show you the main page. So it's got right here, it's got Canvas Projects, My Projects, Pattern Collections, and Disney. Um, you can get to your mat either from My Projects or the main page. Page. And then this is what your screen looks like. So I've got my projects that I could go and download into it. A lot of these tabs up here are very similar to the ones that you have on the offline version. But my projects is what I've saved. You won't have that on your offline version. And then you've got your basic shapes, your borders, um, logos, and text. All of this is included on the offline, but let me show you. These are your text options. So there's what, 20 of them maybe um, right here? And that's, like I said, the reason that I love the other version because I can get text from my, or different fonts from my computer. So when you do this, you have to click on one of these and then erase the text and type what you want. I'm flipping back to the offline version one more time just to show you the difference. So let me make this screen a little bit bigger, but we're going to go to the text. See the little T right there? 
and I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. And I've hit the T, so you can put a text box right in there, which is nice. It doesn't already just say the word text like it does on the um, online version, and you, then you have to erase it and do something else. You get an actual box. So I'm going to go over and pick a font, and then click back on my mat, and I can type anything that I want on there. So we're just going to type whatever we feel like hello and it pops up in that font I can also once it's already there I can change it to different fonts so we have so many options here and um, I will do a video at some point about getting some free fonts for you um, but there's a lot of different places you can get fonts and I have downloaded many ahead of time because I use them on all kinds of things so I just love this font and I love being able to use something more scripty like this so so I hope that this helped you out. I will make more videos, like I said, at least once a month. If you have any specific things you're wanting videos on, as long as it's in my wheelhouse, I will try to do it. So just put it in the comments for me. Make sure you go through the links in the description to download your version. And also, I will put any um, all of my affiliate links. I know that I don't have any for Brother, but I've got some if you're going shopping for any crafty supplies, and that would help me so much. Thanks, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you soon. Bye!